three. Enjoy your weekend NBA countdown next. Thanks, Kevin. Donovan Mitchell and the undefeated Cavs. They're off to their best start since LeBron James was in Cleveland. And on the other side, the Magic, they may be shorthanded, but Jalen Suggs and Orlando, they do have one of the best defenses in the NBA. Can they hand Cleveland their first loss of the season? We're counting you down on ESPN. Welcome to NBA Countdown presented by DoorDash. Happy Friday, everyone. Halloween, it may be behind us, but what a treat to be in studio with the man behind the Dubs dynasty, Bob Myers, our NBA champ, Kendrick Perkins. I'm Malika Andrews. What a doubleheader we have in store for everybody tonight. We have two rematches of series that went to seven games in last year's playoffs. The Magic and the undefeated Cavaliers start us off. And then we have a rematch of last year's seven-game thriller between Nikola Jokic and the Nuggets and Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves. Now, Jokic is off to another in insane start. He's the second player in NBA history to average 30, 12, and 9 in his first four games of the season, joining Oscar Robertson the year he averaged a 30-point triple-double. And then Ant, he's been making three-pointers like he's Steph Curry. He's made 22 threes, tied for the second most in the first four games in NBA history, trailing only Curry last season. And then both Jokic and Ant, they rank in the top five in MVP odds. That's according to ESPN Bet in the early going. Jokic is going for his fourth MVP in five seasons. Anthony Edwards looking to join KG as the only Timberwolves to win the award. So the Stars are doing their part, right? But both of these teams, Bob, they're off to two and two starts here, and they feel like slightly different. Two Thank and you two very starts. much, and welcome to beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. A gorgeous night. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where for the land. Yeah, that core four of the Cavs led the team to a 5-0 and start. A matchup tonight against the Magic. Two of the prime, young, talented teams of the Eastern Conference as we welcome you to NBA Courtside, presented by DoorDash. For the Magic, they got some tough news. Shams broke it yesterday. Paolo Bancaro out indefinitely with an oblique injury. As we welcome you courtside, hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside, as just mentioned by Malika Andrews, the brand new head coach of the Indiana Fever, Stephanie White. First of all, congratulations, Thank Stephanie. You. Meanwhile, before you get to that job, you got this one tonight. This is a magic team with elevated expectations this year. They were off to a great start, but how do they survive being without Paolo Bancaro for a minimum of six weeks? Well, certainly there's not going to be one person who does what Paolo Bancaro does. It's got to be by committee. You're going to play through Franz Wagner. He's got to be more assertive and more aggressive on the offensive end of the floor. The ball has to move a little bit more in the corner court. Ball movement, player movement, but creating offense from defense is going to be criti critical tonight. Meanwhile, for the Cleveland Cavaliers, a 5-0 start, something they've done for just the third time in franchise history. First year under Kenny Atkinson, and the offense is absolutely humming so far. Well, continuity is important, right? And You bring back a lot of core guys from a season ago. They're playing at a fast faster pace, getting a lot of high percentage looks in the first eight seconds of offense. This is a team that went from 24th in the NBA in pace a year ago to eighth right now. The ball is touching a lot of players' hands. Ball movement, player movement, getting some easy looks. This has been a dominant defensive team, certainly in the past, and now you add a lethal offense. They are certainly dangerous. Donovan Mitchell off to another very good start this season. For more on Cleveland, here is Angel Gray. Well, Ryan, if we want to fully grasp the success that we've seen from Cleveland early this year. It really goes back to their training camp. Coach Atkinson said he had his current starting five go through every possession together to build the consistency in what he said was the details of winning. Donovan Mitchell also told me that it starts with him and Darius Garland and understanding the importance of how they can impact the game with them being off the ball. That's with them running in the corners, finding ways to get others involved. It may not be them to start, but coming back to them, Coach Atkinson said, for run for one, just like the entire group played for one, and it's been fun to see that the first five games. Well, the Cavs looking to improve to 6 0. The Magic looking to see it if they can win without Paolo Bancaro in a matchup against Darius Garland and Cleveland. Malika and the crew help get you ready for tip next on Courtside. NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by Dash Pass, your door to all things basketball. And that'll do it. 
Donovan Mitchell and a ferocious Cavs defense. They win game seven, eliminate the young Magic. Take that experience, understand it, where you can get better, and then let it go. This is a new year. Jalen Suggs, nothing but net. Three-point shot left. He thrills it. That's the beauty of this group, the camaraderie, the chemistry, the focus, the trust. This is an Eastern Conference. You can't take lightly. Everybody's gotten better from top to bottom. You deserve to be right up there, but at the end of the day, we got to go out there and prove. No, oh, looks a pass to a wide open Garland. Hey, sit down. When you're connected and you're talented, you can do some important things. We're here to win the championship. That's the goal. By any means necessary. you to NBA Friday presented by State Farm in Cleveland, Ohio, getting ready for a fun Eastern Conference matchup between the 5-0 Cleveland Cavaliers and the 3-2 Orlando Magic. Time for tonight's starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell. For the visiting Magic, some changes today. Paolo Bencaro out with the oblique injury. So Anthony Black slides in. And then Wendell Carter Jr. with knee tendinitis, a late scratch. Mo Wagner slides in next to his brother in the front court for Carter. For the Cavaliers, Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, the talented backcourt. Dean Wade has done a nice job at the three with Max Struess still injured. Evan Mobley and Jared Allen to round out the Cavs front court. Cleveland 5-0 for just the third time in franchise history. They have averaged 125 points per game in that 5-0 start. Just the 15th to ever do so while starting 5-0, the last three all 